All right, guys, this very update, one on one watch right now. So, now all about the former governor of River State, Rotimi Amechi, and also the former minister of transportation. Guys, <laughs> now the man, now they see for my screen. So, when he do math like somebody, when he drink kind, kind, do math, do face like somebody, as in like him, when he take over those trauma dog. Guys, this man don't finally come out, come pour out in mind. He said this election is one of the worstest elections so far. In Nigeria, he say I net na total failure for today's election. So ask me on how they talk. I watch this video. I can't say show. They read the talk and say he who fight a run away must surely fight another day. When I remember 2015, now huh? this man one I they see for my screen. So he there among the people and be like say man they fight against good Lord Jonathan, the former president of Nigeria. You understand? Then join hand to hand with Buhari Mohamed Jubrin. The, the number one failure for Nigeria, they can't begin the fight. Good luck. You understand? He don't come out now. He said this election and one of the worstest election. He said, I make na total failure. I say show. When I know say this life, if man marry more than one wife, eh, definitely go know the best one inside. Well, guys, make it not be like say I to talk. Neither I to waste to not. I make I just watch this full video. Meanwhile, while watching, I be make I just like, share, comment. So that Facebook and YouTube go help me recommend them to more people. And I beg, make one no fail to follow this my YouTube channel. Who I'm picking one on one, one adjust the see for my screen. So, guys, I go leave one here right now. Why I go see you now for the ending of this video? The reason why we got this is that that's how we uh, we praised INEC at the beginning of uh, the election on the on the eleventh, and it turned out to be one of the worst uh, elections in the history of Nigeria. Now again. Look at what's going on. It's a total failure of governance in the country. Complete failure. In the sense that police is helping uh, PDP arrest APC members, arrest SDP members. Gongs are being beaten about in the whole community, asking those who will not vote for who will not vote for PDP not to come out or they will beat them. Unlike before, talks are beating people up, 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 up everywhere. People have been arrested and nobody has spoken. The government has no right to declare anybody wanted whatsoever. People have been declared wanted. The IG is doing nothing. Nobody's doing anything. Complete failure. Now there's voter apathy. I don't know if it's if it goes across the whole country, but there's total voter apathy in Nigeria. I mean in River State. Nobody wants to come out because people are scared. Resource sheets, some claim they are fake. No, I have no evidence whether they are fake or not. But you see, you really have to battle to make sure there's no violence. But it's good, it's, you wonder whether it's, it won't be difficult because you're not in every every place. Here you have to come out, I have to come out to tell my people, no, no, the, the resource sheet may not be fake, even if it's fake. Take the fake resource sheet to INEC. INEC is used to it. The, what we heard was that the mutilations in the last election, they have printed a new resource sheet in which they have removed all those mutilations. That's why they find it difficult to upload. So now they can upload because they are now uh, playing resource sheets. INEC is a total failure, a complete failure. Look at the exercise for today. Uh, how would you describe it? That's the point I'm making. Uh, I'm, I, what I just told you now is what is happening everywhere. It is not as if you see when you come into Ubima and Ubima is calm because everybody believes in peace. And obviously, since I come here, I come from there. Since it comes from here, there will be total calm and peace for people to food. The only skimish you saw here was when they suspected that the result was fake. And we told them whether the result was fake or not. Don't touch anybody. Vote. Carry the fake resource sheet back to INEC. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. 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 I'm not the president. Advice, I, I said. What advice? I, I've spoken to everybody concerned on this issue before the election. I've spoken completely. There are those of us who, don't, who oppose the, the reappointment of uh, uh, Mahmoud. Mahmoud. The person who nominated him for, for appointment is a member of Tinibu's camp. So what are you expecting? Success? Here in River State, Mahmoud worked on that week as Executive Secretary of Third Fund. So what you're having in River State is that APC, SDP and others are, are contesting the election not against PDP, against INEC, against police. So, saying that. so guys, I also want to watch that full video from the former governor of River State, Rotimi Amechi, and also the former Minister of Transportation. When I say, I say this life, any position where you day, try to do your best. You understand? All of them now they don't begin to blame each other. It just be like pot now they blame keto. Keto, keto they blame pot. Meanwhile, pot and keto are the same fire that they put to the two of them. Whether APCO, P 
PDPO, all of them are based on the same Fed, and I want to open it all of them. You understand? Because 2015, when this road team may begin, they do any year, you understand? They all of the power go meet uh, our number one failure from Nigeria, Mohammed Jubrin. They call the fight good Lord Jonathan, you understand? That one as a wisdom man, he can't give them chance. He gave them the country. So, yeah, me will carry it for where for stop. You understand? Me, I not be hungry, man. I do already do okay. And I understand everybody know good luck, Jonathan, and a peaceful man. You understand? And so, guys, make it not be like I say I to talk, neither I to waste too much time. This other video, one I they see from my screen. So, this one they come all the way from Lagos State. When I they see an election material, now I they see for inside Gota. So, inside Gota, a whole election. When be like I say, man, Nigeria they conduct today, <laughs> guys. One that shall never end. A whole election, I be like, where children take the place. So, it just be like when. When they put file for inside cage or neither they put file for God to make it a play. Now they see election materials. I see this video. I can't say whether Nigeria they move forward though. I've been Nigeria as a country they go for backward though. Me, I don't know the right word to use. You understand? Because right from 1960 country now, Nigeria at 63, nothing to show. Nothing. You understand? Nothing they work for the country. Nothing they function. So neither guys, make it not be like I say I to talk. So guys, this other video, they come from the former governor of Edo State, Adams Ali Oshomole. Guys, I go like make una come watch and listen where Adams Ali Oshomole for the blame Godwin Obaseki, the current governor of Edo State. My people, not be smart, you know, whether PDP or APC because uh, even Obaseki, me and you know, say na APC fair day, before come overnight, you understand? He maneuver enter PDP. So those two parties, they be the same, based on the same feather, you understand? According to the former governor of Edo State, Adam Sali Oshomole, is your Baseki sent talks, saying boys made the country destroy election grounds, scatter everywhere, chase everybody out. You understand? <laughs> Guys, not be smart, you know, make one account see uh, Keto, the love pot, say na, na black, neither pot and Keto are the same fire, then they enter. Well, my people, I bet make one me share this video. Why go live and make one watch this full video? Meanwhile, while watching, make one like, share, comment, true, una comment, now go take no way to be on our opinion. Regarding this very video. Meanwhile, make an offer to follow my second channel. Room picking one on one. As soon as I do so, I appreciate everyone, guys. I go leave on here right now. I go see now for the next update. Coming out soon. Respect one love, guys. Uh, I had talks with uh, some police to go to survey and the soldiers chase them away and pick some of them. I don't know where they took them to. This morning, I can show you photographs now. How the same people came back. Uh, wait, let me move up. I have video evidence of what is going on. You can see, this is the work of PDP at this point. Basically, said there from Benin to come across all this. Look at this. No, but don't take it from me. This is not going to show the whole thing. But just to see, call the police obey and they will follow you photographs. I'm just showing you this as evidence of. A desperate PDP, you know, has the result. So the basic thing is we have got some, some confusion. It appears the security agencies compromise. Organic, the, the shame is people are coming out to vote. In some cases now, uh, in Jetu, where Philip is voting, they know because it's a one community. When ABC people come, they drive them away. And the shame is that police are watching why this is taking place. And uh, where they are not able to chase the people away, like I show you in this photograph now in Sobe, they have uh, 19 units in Sobe. About 10 units have been destroyed, as you saw here. Why police and soldiers are watching. So it's like you have police without policing. You have policemen supervising electoral crime. I have called the CP, I have told him. I have called the army, I have told them. Because the purpose of bringing security and the soldier, the, I mean, the policeman is telling me that it is not their duty. If it's not their duty, what the hell are they doing in this area? They should leave us to our fate. So we know it's survival of the fittest. But people are obeying the law. You will think that the presence of police means presence of security. And then you just find that the security, because you are not armed, you are not ready to cause disruption, you want the vote to count, and then the police is watching, and the ballot papers are being destroyed. And they join in lamenting. You see, they're here now. I told them this is no way to be. You should be in the city where crime is taking place as we speak. 
So, and the whole idea is do as much disruption as you can. And this is not some key secret. They have told the police what they are going to do. They had meeting with the police, they told them. And I told the police people, if a criminal says, I am going to rob that house tomorrow, he has told you he's going to do it. Would you arrest him and prevent him from doing it? But I think there is a level of compromise uh, that the security people have been compromised largely, both army and police, and in, in some cases. In Edo South, that IDP camp, this morning they were voting, Pastor Fellowship just called me. The people just came, about seven people have voted. They just destroyed the ballot box, take away the ballot box, take away the beavers, and the people are now stranded. So I told them they have to make sure that these people vote. That's an IDP car where internally displaced persons are. The Nigeria Army and the Nigeria Police cannot protect an IDP camp. It's one isolated community. So I see a grand conspiracy which we have been hearing about, that so much money has changed hand, and so police can be deployed, but they will not police. And crime is committed while police are the witnesses. That's what is going on. And I feel so ashamed about it, because how are we going to have democracy growing if security agencies that are deployed become part of the crime? So there are a few isolated places now. Now, I fear that as we approach collation, the situation is going to increase. Because whatever they allow voting, we are winning. You know, and of course, the other thing is that when people hear what is going on, they don't want to come out to vote. You know, if they hear that, and nobody is arrested by the police, if they arrest him, they will arrest our own victim who are trying to protect the vote. It's just a shame that Obasaki believes he can impose himself, he can use all the tactics to have, um, to have his way. Now a policeman is telling me I should call on Anne to, to castle the result in view of the massive uh, disruption of everywhere. I told the policeman, you should have prevented that disruption, not telling me to say they should castle. Because the purpose of bringing police is to prevent crime. We know that there are criminals. So you don't say now that so much a crime has taken place, back in the house. Does it make sense? So I'm very disturbed, I'm very embarrassed, and I'm, very, I'm surprised that the police are witnessing it. I tried to scream, but my voice was